Hey guys, what's up? I'm Greg. He's Q. Together we're Mr. Happy 0121. And before we were getting started here, even as the video was rolling, we were talking about foods that allow bug parts and rodent hairs per million parts into the equation. So now, after having that long conversation, we're going to break into this. Now, thankfully, it's not a pizza, so we should be safe. Because I was just telling him that I have heard all of my life Pizza is the highest rate of bug parts of any prepared food. I've heard peanut butter, too. Peanut butter? Makes sense. But that's not a prepared food. By prepared food, I mean like a hamburger, a pizza, a spaghetti. Spaghetti sauce is pretty much the same as pizza sauce, though, so there would be a lot. That all stemmed from the fact I don't like mushrooms, and I was giving him 8 million reasons, good or bad, why I don't want no mushrooms on nothing. But let's get into this. Let's get into the cinnamon pull-apart. The reason you're here. Because there is the one guy that's like, shut the hell up! Eat the food, give the grade, I want to go do other things. I want to go watch a boogie video. I want to go watch Scarce. I don't know why, but that's what he wants to do. So we're going to eat the cinnamon knots. Just calm down and we're going to give the grade. We promise. No more extraneous speaking. Are you ready? I'm ready. This thing was $6.99 where I'm at. I've seen it advertised as low as $5.99. I haven't seen it advertised any higher. Comes in a nice little tin pan. I don't know why this is so expensive. You can get a pizza there cheaper than this. It looks like it looks like Thanksgiving loaf from high school. When it's Thanksgiving time, they used to put that square thing that was both stuffing and turkey onto your tray. Do they still do that? And now that they have health regulations, you probably get an actual slice of turkey. Yeah, oh yeah, they actually have pretty good food. Yeah, not when I was a kid. It was this loaf. It was like a brick of stuffing with little pieces of turkey in it and probably many, many bug parts. That's what this looks like. It looks like it's kind of squared off, kind of. Let's just, just there. Let's it just do like... some pulling apart. You pick that corner. I'll pick this corner. Oh, look, each one's a little bite. See, a little bite. Or in his case, a big bite. Bite one. Bite two. Here's an indication of how much he's going to grade or ungrade something. I'm giving you guys a cheat. That is his next third and final bite. If, um, if the grade was going to be too low, I have a feeling that the bite would have been much smaller. Bite three. I'm going to go first because I'm just going to see how high he grades this. I know, I know he's going to grade it well, but I'm just going to see how high. I'm going to give you guys a heads up before we do this. <laughs> No, it's not. I'm not going to talk about our cat <laughs> right. beating a screw. That just doesn't sound like anything. No. no, that's why he's happy because I've just spent the last 30 seconds yelling at a cat about a screw. No, but what I am going to do is I'm going to give you guys a chance with earbuds for an earbud check. You're going to want to turn your sound down a little bit. Are you ready? Three, two, one. I give this a Denny Green. This is the most Denny Green thing I have ever had. This is Denny Green coming up from the dead, crawling out of the grave, and exclaiming, It is what I thought it was! It is literally a cinnamon roll. That's what it is. I can go to Walmart or Walgreens or where Kroger and go to Kroger. Go back in their freezer aisle, back in their section where they sell cookies and rolls. I could buy like six packages of cinnamon rolls for what I paid for this. I could have this much cinnamon roll. I have this much cinnamon roll for $7. It's a cinnamon roll. The flavor, I would give it like an 84. But because they charged me $7 for this, for something I could get anywhere else in the world for a dollar, I give this a 70. Okay, you can raise your levels again because he speaks softly from what I'm told. Well, in a world where I didn't pay for this, I'll give it a 90. Really he, liked it. That's the world he lives in every day, the world where he didn't pay for it. What did you like about it? You know, it tasted uh, like a cinnamon roll. I, I really like cinnamon enjoy rolls. cinnamon rolls, yeah. There you go. A 90 and a 70. If someone offers this to you, it's a 90. If you're buying it, it's a 70. Fair enough. You remember I gave the flavor an 84, but damn... <laughs> I just paid $7 for a cinnamon roll. Oh, I bet they're making so much money off these You things. know they are, man. This thing didn't cost them a dollar to manufacture. No way. There's no way it could have. 
It's not even the full size you would get from like a Pillsbury product. I'm so disgruntled by the fact that I paid $7 for this. We're not even going to do any shout outs today. I don't want to put anyone through that. You know, it's never good to do shout outs when you're in a negative state of mind. That's, that's times for happiness. That's happiness. This is not making me happy. So we're just, we're going to, I could do the freezer burns bit and just oh. throw, get this mic off of me. I'm out of here. And he hasn't been back since. Well, he's been back. Oh. Just not making food reviews. He's like climbing mountains or something. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, good for him. Good for Freezer Burns. There we go. We got some obscure guy from the past in here. You know, everyone seems to know who he is for a guy that only ever had like 26,000 subscribers. Really? Yeah, anytime you make a Freezer Burns reference, people always know. That guy had like 26,000 subscribers. You could take a guy now with like a million subscribers. People don't know who they are. Who? <laughs> Probably that thing you said about Scarisa. I think that was this video. Yeah. That's, you know. Somebody knows who Scarce is. I'm sure, but. And those that do, I apologize. <laughs> hey, it, I hung in long enough where I'm fashionable again. I never disliked Keemstar. But all the people have come back around that hated Keemstar. And so I'm back in fashion again. That's good. There was a time there that, like, you couldn't publicly say you enjoyed Keemstar. I did, but others couldn't. But now, it's back. he's back in fashion this week. Now, next week, when you watch this video and Keemstar's hated again for something, I was just kidding. I never liked it. I'm on blog TV with my hands oh, up. Oh, okay. I, yeah. <laughs> Defend that. Nope. Nope. That's all we got today. The past is the past, man. The past is the past. You can't keep living in the past, especially when it comes to YouTubers. We have some videos. Not nothing like that. <laughs> nothing like that. No, 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 nothing like that. You remember that flood? <laughs> That's not as bad as. Really? Really. The difference between us and them is our videos are long gone that were that offensive. Until next time, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can find us on all social media. Mr. Happy zero one two one. By the way, it wasn't really our choice that those videos were gone. YouTube. Helped us make that decision. Until next time, stay vigilant.